Hello, Noble families and students. Just a quick short video going over the last math pages that you're going to do in your math book for chapter 10. So, on page 591 is your mid-chapter checkpoint. There are two vocabulary questions. You are welcome to use the vocabulary cards to help you, or hopefully you remember what the answers are. We have AM, minute, and PM as our vocabulary words to choose from. 3, 4, 5, and 6, we are going to write the time, and we're also going to write if it's a.m. or p.m. So remember, a.m., things that happen in the morning, p.m., things that happen in the afternoon. So we have playing ball, eating breakfast, doing homework, and sleeping. Okay? 4, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 7, you're going to find out the elapsed time from 10.05 to 10.50. Number 8, from 5.30 to 5.49. For number 9 and 10, you're going to find the starting time or the ending time. For number 9, you're going to find the starting time. So you're going to be going backwards 50 minutes. And for 10, you're going to find the starting, the ending time. So you're going to go forward 15 minutes. For numbers 11 through 15. 11 said Veronica started walking to school at 7.45. She arrived at school 23 minutes later. At what time did Veronica arrive to school? So she started at 7.45. We're going to add 23 minutes. Tell me what you get, guys. Tell me what you get. Uh, 12 is going to be a bonus. The clock shows the start, the time the art class ends. What, what time does it end? If the class started 37 minutes before the time shown, at what time did the class start? So looking for two answers here. What time did it start? Okay. And what time did it end? Remember, the time on the clock right now is the time that it ended. Okay. 13, Matt went to his friend's house. He arrived at 510. He left at 537. How long did it take? How long was he at his friend's house? This is a good time to subtract, taking the bigger number, subtracting the smaller one. 14, Brenda's train leaves at 7.30. She needs to arrive 10 minutes early to buy her ticket. It takes her 20 minutes to get there. At what time should she leave? So remember, this is the last activity that's happening. We're going back 10 and back 20. And number 15, write the time you get home from school. All right, those are the answers I'm looking for. Um, those are the pages I'm looking to see submitted. And that's going to be it for this short 2 minute 30 second video. Um, again, Rick Oblins here to help you anytime. Have a great day.